100 Years of Free Methodism in Saskatoon. In 1961, as the Saskatoon Free Methodist Church at East Lake in Maine grew in numbers, it became apparent that expansion was necessary. Under the guidance of Pastor Paul Buffum, the church began to look at a new area of the city in which to fulfill its mission. The community of Greystone Heights was new, and there were no churches in the area. It was decided to rent the Greystone Heights School and begin to hold Sunday school and morning church there, while still holding evening services and weekly meetings at Eastlake. In 1963, a lot became available for purchase at the corner of Bateman Crescent and Main Street. Plans were drawn for construction of a new church building, and members of the congregation provided the majority of the labor. The building was completed in late 1964. At that time, the name of the church was changed to the Greystone Heights Free Methodist Church. Christian Youth Crusaders, Free Methodist youth and college and career groups thrived as the church expanded. In August of 1975, Pastor Les and Peggy Krober arrived from St. Louis, Missouri to lead the church. We are Les and Peggy Krober who served Lakeview Church from 1975 to 1983. 45 years ago, we came from St. Louis, Missouri because we believed that it was God's providential leading. Let me explain. Canadian Bishop Don Bastian had been my pastor throughout high school and college. He knew us well. He said, Saskatoon Greystone Heights Church would be a good match with you and Peggy as pastor. Then, Superintendent Jack Walruth checked us out and offered to fly me north to meet the church and leaders. I told him, you will most likely waste your money. I'm not inclined to do this. He said, I'll take that chance. In February 1975, I came and spoke at a church potluck in the Greystone Heights Fellowship Hall. I met with the church board, answering many questions. After I left the meeting, they voted to invite me to be the next pastor. Later that night, as I looked out the Air Canada window at the frozen city below, I knew that we would be moving to Saskatoon. We were 28 years old when we arrived. You welcomed us with a loving spirit. That was already a part of Lakeview Church's DNA. Open hearts to the Lord, open hands to the stranger, open minds to biblical truth. Together we sought to love God, obey the word, and make disciples. In the late 1970s, adult discipleship classes and small groups, which then were called koinonia cells, were started. Midweek prayer meetings transitioned into Wednesday evening family nights, where everyone met for a meal in the fellowship hall, followed by age-level activities for kids, plus choir practice for 30 to 40 adults. Geraldine Heinmarsh, the choir director in the early 70s, recalls some of the early musical performances called Come Together and I'm Here, God's Here, Now We Can Start. The congregation began to look at ways to expand its outreach in the city and the new community of Lakeview was chosen as the place to build. An ambitious campaign was started to secure land and arrange for plans for a new larger building. We must mention that there were several dozen couples who were fully engaged in the ministry of Christ at Greystone Heights. Their presence encouraged us and the church growth which followed forced us to relocate and build the first Lakeview Church in 8081. It tripled our space and prepared for the arrival of Pastor Glenn and Nancy Teal. Most importantly, it bonded us together in renewed commitment to the making of disciples. With a congregation of around 175 people, it seemed like an intimidating task to build a church that would hold 350. But God brought together people of faith who were committed to bring a church to a new community once again. But that's the next chapter in our history. 